Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn with Gautami channel. In this video, I am going to share with you four activities that you need to do in order to become fluent in this language ASAP. I mean, as soon as possible. So, without any delay, let's get started. In order to become fluent in this language or learn this language as quick as possible, you need to practice one activity that is active listening. Whatever you listen, you need to listen it actively. It should not be a namesake, right? Why many of us are not able to catch the correct pronunciation of word? It is because they are not actively listening. They are not actually listening. Are you really listening to me right now? Or just watching it? Right? Did you get me now? What is the difference between just listening and active listening? You need to make sure that you are spending your hours, whatever it may be. Either you may be listening to an audiobook, either you may be listening to podcast, whatever it is, it is up to you. But you need to listen to that particular thing actively. Active listening is the best key to master your listening skills so that it will become a practice to you. And actually when you are in a conversation, then only in a habit you are going to listen to them actively. You know very well, right? that you will become a good speaker only if you are a good listener. So, make it a habit to listen actively. The second activity is that repeating. Whatever you listen, make it a habit to repeat it with the same correct pronunciation. If you want to learn the accent, make sure that you are delivering the whole dialogue or the whole speech along with it, repeating with the same speed. This is how you are going to improve. As I am not very particular about learning any other accent, I do not follow this technique. But I practice pronunciation by repetition technique. Because one point is that I am going to pronounce the words correctly. And the second thing is that I am going to remember the word for a long time. If I repeat that particular word or that particular phrase or idiom or that particular sentence structure more time. Okay. The more you are using those type of phrases, those type of words, the more they are going to enter into your speech and you are going to be comfortable while you are actually speaking them with others. It comes with repetition. Repeat whatever possible. The third thing is that communicating a lot. I don't know how many times I have stressed upon it. You need to make sure that you are communicating with people. You need to utilize the opportunity whenever you get a chance. Okay? You should not hide somewhere whenever you get an opportunity to speak English. The more you are putting yourself into a situation where you need to speak English, the more you are going to get comfortable with the language. You are learning this language not just to read or not just to write. You are actually learning this language in order to speak, in order to spread your thoughts, in order to tell your ideas, right? So, in order to do that, you need to develop your communication skills. You need to develop your conversation skills. These two are very important. I have done three videos on how to develop your communication skills. So, please don't neglect that. Communication skills plays a very important role beside learning this language and becoming fluent in this language. Trust me, by adding communication skills into your speech, you are going to sound attractive. I advise you not to give up on practicing your communication skills along with practicing your English speaking skills. And the final fourth thing is that immersing yourself in English. I stress upon this a lot, right? But it is actually important. You need to read in English. You need to watch a lot of content in English. You need to listen English. You need to speak out in English. You need to put down your thoughts in English. Do whatever it is, but do it in English. You need to surround yourself in English. You need to comment below in our video right now in English. You need to use every opportunity. Right now, comment whether this video is useful to you or not have you liked this video or not okay so these are the four tips that i wanted to share with you the first thing is that you need to listen actively the second thing is that repetition technique the third thing is that improving your communication skills and involving more in communicating the fourth and final activity that you need to develop is that you need to immerse yourself with english 
i hope this video is useful to you and if so don't forget to subscribe the channel and give your support to me share it to your friends and family members and put a like on it and before 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 saying you goodbye i am going to remind you again that don't forget to watch the series of videos about the problems that we are facing while learning and speaking english language that i am going to start from may 2nd to 31st of may please join me in that challenge now see you soon practice english